these sources of the energy we use every day. These sources of energy fall into two groups called non-renewable and renewable resources. Most of the energy used in the United States comes from non-renewable resources. These resources are called non-renewable because once they are used, they cannot be replaced. Coal, petroleum, natural gas, propane, and uranium all take millions of years to form. Their supply is limited and eventually they will run out. Coal, natural gas, petroleum, and propane are referred to as fossil fuels because they have formed over the millions of years since prehistoric times. These resources formed from the tiny plants and animals that lived before the dinosaurs. These plants and animals got their energy from the sun. When they died, they sank to the bottom of swamps and oceans. Then over millions of years, water and dirt piled up on these plants and animals. The pressure caused chemical and physical changes that transformed these decayed plants and animals into fossil fuels, which have become so important to our life. However, once the supply of fossil fuels is used up, it will be gone forever. Here is a chart that shows energy consumption by source in the United States. Notice how the non-renewable resources dominate, with 94% of energy consumption coming from their use. Giant machines are used to remove coal from the ground. There are two methods for mining coal. Surface mining is currently the most widely used method. This method can be used when the coal is a few hundred feet below the surface. Giant machines are used to scrape the topsoil and dirt away, and then the coal can be mined on the surface. Underground mining is necessary when the coal vein is deep underground. In this situation, people and machines are transported underground to remove the coal. 91% of the coal mined in the United States is used to produce electricity in power plants. Coal is also used in the manufacture of paper, cement, and bricks. Our coal reserve should last for the next 300 years at the current level of use. Before any coal is mined from an area, the coal company plans with the local community and other interested parties how to reclaim the land. Coal companies make a great effort to treat the land in an environmentally proper fashion. Sometimes, coal contains sulfur, which is released when the coal is burned, and this sulfur combines with oxygen to make acid rain. Acid rain can harm trees and other living things, so coal companies try to locate sources of coal that are low in sulfur. They also remove sulfur from the coal they mine. Power plants have installed scrubbers in their smokestacks to remove the sulfur before it can get into the air. Natural gas is the cleanest burning fossil fuel. Natural gas is used mainly for heating. It is used primarily by industries as a fuel for heating and the manufacture of products. It is also an ingredient in products such as glue, fertilizer, and paint. Natural gas, like other fossil fuels, was formed millions of years ago from dead plants and animals. Natural gas is found trapped in underground rock pockets. It is considered a non-renewable resource, though some natural gas is generated and can be collected at landfills as garbage breaks down. The main gas associated with natural gas is methane, which is colorless and odorless. Natural gas companies add the odor of rotten eggs to natural gas so that if there is a leak, people can tell there's a problem. 60% of homes use natural gas for heating. It is estimated that the United States has about 50 years of natural gas left. Petroleum is often referred to as oil or crude oil. It is a fossil fuel and is a very valuable energy resource. Petroleum is primarily used as fuel for vehicles used for transportation. To bring petroleum to the surface of the earth, oil companies drill deep wells. One-fourth of the earth's petroleum reserves are from offshore wells located in oceans. Most wells are about a mile or 1.6 kilometers deep. The oil that comes out of the ground must be cleaned up. It is sent to a refinery where it is separated into many fuels, such as gasoline, diesel fuel, jet fuel, and heating oil. 
The United States only produces enough oil to serve about one-third of its petroleum needs. So most of the petroleum used in the United States is imported from other countries. Propane is a gas that can be found with natural gas and petroleum deposits. Propane is a very clean gas. In fact, it is used as the fuel in forklifts that must work inside warehouses. This fuel doesn't give off harmful or deadly fumes, so it can be used inside this closed area. Propane is also used by homeowners to power barbecues, and in rural areas, it is often used as the fuel to heat homes.